Hey, it's Aaron. Got a pretty good question from Himansu. Hopefully I'm not screwing that up. Sorry if I am. Anyway, this is a really good question, and it's one that I've, I've seen uh, posed several times in different places, uh, sometimes as comments on something I wrote, sometimes just as general commentary on something else. But either way, it's usually posed by people who are either Tesla fans or uh, just want to know why isn't why aren't electric vehicles going um, happening faster than they are? Uh, and it's a key question because up to uh, just recently, the best-selling electric vehicle in the world was the Nissan Leaf. So uh, the question is, why hasn't the Leaf increased the battery range the same as a Tesla? In other words, why hasn't why hasn't Nissan changed the Leaf so that the battery uh, range or capacity is about equal to what Tesla offers. There's a whole lot of reasons, and it's the the technology is not simple, uh, as a lot of people will assume. It's not just a matter of shoving some more batteries in there. You can't just buy some Duracells and huck them in there and have it work better. Uh, it's not really how this works. So. Uh, the first thing to remember and know is that the LEAF was not designed to have a larger battery pack. It was designed to have roughly 100 miles of range. The original version of the LEAF uh, in this current generation had, uh, I think it was 80, about 75 or 80 miles uh, up to about 110. I think right now they're somewhere in that range, 100, between 100 and 120, if I remember right. And uh, the... LEAF was not made to be anything else. It was made to be an electric vehicle and that's it. It is not a uh, electrified version of a internal combustion vehicle. It is not a uh, hybrid or anything like that. Electric, that's it. Um, so uh, Nissan originally did want it to be that way, uh, but they scrapped it because the costs were just too high. The R&D to get a hybrid out of the car uh, was just going to be too expensive and just not worth it. Um, they, they didn't anticipate sales to be that great for a hybrid model, given that the Toyota Prius was pretty much dominating the market and still does. The conventional layout of the Leaf is that it has propulsion up front, it has fuel in the middle, um, so in the middle of the car, that's where the batteries are, and uh, there's limited space for those batteries. The LEAF is a compact car. It's very, very small. Right now, Tesla does not have anything the same size as the LEAF. Even the Model 3 is much larger than the LEAF is. So the LEAF is a true compact, nearly subcompact car. It's very small. So there's only so much space to put things in. Uh, on top of that, the LEAF was designed to be affordable. You can buy a Nissan LEAF for about what you would buy a Nissan Versa for if you're not buying the cheapest of the Versa, right? The, the tiny little has nothing in it fuck one. So that's kind of what Nissan's goal was. They wanted an affordable electric car. It's a compact. It's, uh, it's a uh, kind of hatchback design, so it's useful. It's utilitarian. It was meant for people. It's not necessarily meant to be a primary vehicle. In fact, the majority of LEAF owners, that is their second or third vehicle, or it's their commuter vehicle. It's not their primary vehicle in the household. Uh, where I live here in Wyoming, surprisingly, the LEAF has been fairly popular. Uh, the dealership here in Cheyenne sells about one a month, which doesn't sound like much, but Cheyenne only has 60,000 people in it, and Wyoming has vast open spaces. A car like the LEAF is largely useless if I want to drive any anywhere but in Cheyenne. Uh, but uh, because of the because of the uh, usefulness of the car as a daily commuter, as a everyday vehicle, as a I want to run down to Fort Collins and back, you know, to do some shopping kind of a thing, the Leaf really has found a spot, so it sells. All of those things kind of come together. The Leaf was meant to be an A to B electric car. It was meant to be a small vehicle that was affordable, and it was meant to be uh, what it is. It was not meant to have 300 miles of range. It was not meant to have uh, some sort of, of, of magic, you know, high-speed charging or anything like that. It was meant to be easy and affordable, and that's the role that it's filled, and it's done a really good job of that. So there you go. Hopefully that answers the question. I won't try to say your name again because I'll just butcher it. But uh, 
hopefully that answers the question and, and uh, explains a few things. So that's it. If you got questions for me and you're watching this and you want to ask them, you can hit me up. Just make a comment down below. Uh, find me, you know, Instagram, whatever, Twitter. I don't really tweet much, but if you DM me, yeah, that'll work. Uh, Facebook, everywhere else. You'll find me all over the place. Uh, fastest way, though, hit me up down there in the comments. All right? Okay, this has been Aaron. Talk to you again soon.